Hey, I'm Evie Irie, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. Congratulations with your new single, um, Worst Enemy. I've Thank been you. a fan of yours for the last couple tracks that I've been hearing. Um, and definitely excited to see like your progression and how much you're building and growing in this music industry. But talk to me about Worst Enemy and you know getting to work in the studio with uh, Greg Kirsten. I mean, it was just like, I guess when I went in, like I'm not really a person who knows of anyone or like is really interested in knowing who anyone is. That's just like me personally. I'm just not really like, I'm not one of those music nerds who know everything, you know what I'm talking about? Like know mm -hmm. the producers and know the writers and like all the credits. But um, I'd, I'd heard of some of Greg Kirsten's stuff and I was, I was just chill about it. So I went in and I just acted normal and he's just <laughs> the most gorgeous guy in the world. And I was just like, wow, this is real art. This is just what real musicians do. He's just another one of us, you know what I mean? So no. it was very surreal because he's very talented, but yeah, he's just he's just a, a normal person and a very good creative and talented, so crazy talented. So I feel like I was very honored to be able to get to work with him in that sense because of his skill level and I learned so much from him and like he teaches me so much and just like inspires me a lot. So I guess it's just, it's surreal to know that like someone who's so little and like comes from such a little town and like you know from a little school and just you know what i mean like so small can end up somewhere so huge right so, so was was this the first time that you collaborated with with like another producer that wasn't you know either a friend or someone that you worked back home with mm -mm, no i've been producing with a whole ton of different people Okay. I've been producing with um, like a lot of a lot of big producers, but like he was he was sort of like one of the biggest one, mm -hmm. one of the biggest producers. And I think it was like more of a big like a big deal because, you know, everyone's everyone knows his name except me, obviously, <laughs> but everyone knew of his name. And so I was just I just went along with it, really. I was just like, OK, that's sort of what I do. I just don't really know anything and just say yes. And just go in with it, you know, be myself and just wanting to create good music. That's all I really want to do. So that's what I did. So going into the studio with him, like, how do you feel like he challenged you uh, with this uh, track? Well, I think that, like, he puts very, like, signature, like, things in everything. Like, his drums are very signature. And his piano was very signature as well. So when we started, it was just piano. It was just a piano ballad. And like, we had this chorus Now I, I was in love with it. And I was, I just thought it was going to be another piano ballad, honestly. I didn't really like expect it to come together the way it did because I knew I wanted to have like urban influence. And I knew I wanted to have like, it. I, want, I knew I wanted the choruses to be very like, Queen and Elton John like inspired, mm. 70s inspired and I also wanted it to sound very modern and very Eevee and I was still like a little unsure how we were going to do that so he challenged me in the way of like melodically thinking around like how the, he made us write the melody first before he put the production down which was hard because without knowing the beat, you don't really know direction. In, if that makes sense. I mean, for me at least, it was challenging because that's usually, it's like you write on top of a beat. You write on top right. of whatever the producer comes up with. But this is like, he really challenged us to do that and that was hard for me because that's not something I'm used to. But also like, I don't know, he give, he, he lets you have a lot of creative creative freedom, which is also another thing that's challenging because when you have more freedom, you have opportunity to do whatever. So it's hard to decide and it's hard to be specific with everything you want. And he's just, 
he's just very talented. He's great. He's great. Now you mentioned making sure that it was the EV sound. What is the EV sound? Do you know that for sure already? Or is that something that you're still trying to kind of figure out as you're making new music and releasing new music? I mean, I mean, I feel like now I've, I've, I have like to myself writing, I have a very signature like um, way. And usually it's just like speaking lyrics that are less like surface and lyrics that are real like that have some sort of deep meaning or some sort of like you know they're not they're not like they're not stupid lyrics you know what i mean they're not just like throwaway lyrics they have meaning and like the melodies are very like very certain i don't know how to explain it in like normal way but like I mean, if you need to sing it, go ahead and sing it. (laughs) It's a musician thing. It's an artist thing. It's about capturing the energy in the room. That's really the sound. It's like you capture this energy. And I think when I go into a room with people who are all creatives and all very talented and on the same, like, you know, on the same feeling as you, on the same, like, creative wavelength. I don't know how to explain this properly because it's hard. (laughs) musicians are very unique species and it's like when you put all of them in one room you get something different and i think that's a part of the sound there's a lot of different there's a lot of different things that make up like an, an ev sound for myself i feel like but i've definitely like from since the last few songs and the ep i think that i i definitely like pulled it together and definitely know what that spirit is now, you know, how different was the creative process with Over Him compared to Worst Enemy? Well, it's interesting you say that because Worst Enemy was actually written before um, <laughs> Over Him. And I think that, like, the, I think the only difference is that, like, when I'm writing, I really just try to pick up on the energy in the room and create on the energy in the room. So... I was like, over him was very much like, I'm in London, it's very grungy, it's dark, it's like, there's this mood to it, and Worst Enemy was completely different, it was just a different energy of the day, it was a different mood, and so I think that like, like with what you were saying, I don't know, it just, I don't know how to explain it properly, it's hard to like, I hope you understand what I mean. Because it's it's a very it's a very specific like way of capturing music. Because music is just storytelling, and I like to tell a very like I like to not only tell the story through lyric but through melody, and I like the production to all capture that. And it always does because I'm never writing a story that's not like cohesive to the energy in the room that day. So it varies every time, for sure. Yeah. So as you're kind of preparing to, you know, release a sophomore EP, um, where do you feel your mindset is on this EP? Like, and how do you feel you've kind of evolved as an artist with this record? Hmm. It's a, that's a really good question. Because I think that, like, I don't know how much more writing I'm going to be doing until I release the song, but I'm sitting on piles and piles of music right now. I'm sitting on so much music. It's crazy. So I probably like, I'll probably pick and choose what I feel like goes. I don't really know. I haven't put much thought around it. It's sort of, I feel like the evolution is like, I don't know if sonically it will all fit together, but Dude, this is such a hard question because now my mind's like, oh shit, what am I going to do for this, the next thing? This is crazy. What am I going to do? I'm actually screwed. I get into like very deep thought or with everything, like to the detail. And this is not something I've actually thought about yet. So like I'm, I'm actually freaking out a little bit. What am I? I'm really confused what I'm about to do. But it's good to think about at least. So since you since you get in that 
since your mind goes like that uh, when you are thinking about your music or, or songs, do you feel like there were specific lyrics or part of the production for Worst Enemy that kind of challenged you to the point where you weren't sure if it was going to make the cut or you didn't know how to finish the song? Did that happen to you on this track? No. No, we wrote the song in like an hour. We wrote the song very fast. It just came together because it's it just when you capture when everything's there and you can just capture it there's no premeditating it it just it flows it's just perfect it's just genuinely like perfection the only thing that took forever was um doing the harmonies and singing the song because i am a perfectionist and that's one thing i will do over and over and over and over again until i get it exactly the way I want it and the tonality in the right way and the inflections on the right phrases and the right I'm just a freak about it because I don't know there's something about like along with telling a story your vocal has to be that narrator it has to be on the same has to be saying the same things in terms of like vocal cracks and like little like ways your voice wavers or ends off a phrase like all those things have to be so thought out in order to tell the right story and bring the right emotion to the song and put people in the right tone in the right mindset you really dissect this <laughs> yes i really do i love i love 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 writing songs and i think i i take it for granted because now i can't collab with anyone and I'm just stuck in my room and I just like I'm playing my guitar and playing a little bit of this and that but like I don't it's just not the same there's like there's something about creatives there's something about creating from nothing and like I don't know it's huge it's huge to me I have like such a deep passion for it like such the deepest passion and I just like I think yeah I think I I just I just love it too much now, aside from really going all in with your songwriting and your productions, I feel like you also go on in with your music videos. The last couple of videos that I've seen, including the one that dropped today, um, you know, it, it's. I feel like you're very particular on what, how they look and and how you know whether or not it matches your style. Um, talk to me about this new new video for Worst Enemy and like. How much input did you have for it and what was that creative process like for you? That was actually like one of the, I would say every music video I do was very hard to come up with because I'm very detailed with everything I want. And like, I worked with the Reggie boys on this and they are just like the most talented young producer, direct, like whatever they are, they're the most talented directors in the world. Like so, so great. So like they just, they sort of brought like the youthful energy into something so deep. And I think that like for worst enemy, I've been coming up with this um, idea for a long, long time. Like I wrote this song last year in like maybe a year ago or a little less than a year ago. So a while ago. And I've been coming up with an idea, like thinking about it since maybe six months ago seven months ago so I've been really thinking about this like that's when I first came up with like the concept of um, this is what I want the transitions to be this way and like I wanted to tell this story and that and da 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 and I was actually in the back of an uber coming from um, like eating Chipotle or something like something so random with my friends and all my friends are very like creative all of them are like the most creative and I was in the back seat and we were just talking about the music video and I was like, and it needs to be this and this and this and this. And we were just like typing on our phones and like that's sort of where the idea stemmed from. And then like it would just come up in my brain and I'd be like, oh, and I want this as well. And I would just start pinning and I probably had a Pinterest board of like, I don't know, a hundred different reference photos. And then I had my creative director come into the project and I sat down with her and I got my friend to sit down with her and it was very like, this is what I want. 
and then the Reggie boys came in and then like we all were a part of this and it was just I don't know it just it just came together but there was a lot of thought and it was very much like I want to tell the story of the song through visuals and that's exactly what I see in my brain when I hear the song and when I was writing the song and that's what we that's exactly what we put out to the world so like I know that's amazing to me, honestly, like that blows me away.